Barry, debate takeaway number nine. Having watched a number of broadcast channels and online platforms, there was an interesting dichotomy between the conservative and more liberal outlets. The conservatives universally proclaim Trump the winner, heaping on the compliments like Trump was the most presidential, Trump was in command of the facts, Trump's projection of strength was impressive, he never lost focus. On the, on the flip side, the liberal outlets like CNN and MSNBC were distraught over the failure of Biden to present himself in a fashion that elicited confidence in both his leadership and his ability to even compete with Trump effectively in the November election. It is interesting that both sides came up with the same conclusion. That would seem to mean that if the Democrats want to have a chance to win in November, Biden must be replaced on the ticket, either by him resigning from the race and allowing the Democrats plenty of time to bring in other candidates into the spotlight, or to have a revolt at the convention, literally, this summer. Both sides agree. At this point, Biden has no chance of winning. The only positive news post-debate as far as Biden's political future came from the Biden campaign. And to me, well, it seemed like wishful thinking. They said he's staying in and he's going to the second debate.